What's up, Flight Bright Nation? Hey, what's going on, Flight Bright Nation? So for those of you who have not been following along, we are currently on an extremely long journey from Los Angeles all the way to New York. Yeah, we're headed to New York because we're taking the stepchild there. We're driving across the country in the stepchild to get some super... In secret! Yeah, super secret stuff, stuff down to the stepchild that uh, it'll be coming out soon. Soon. Very soon. But in the meantime, we figured on our way, we might as well stop back off at AMS Performance here in Chicago, Illinois, because they came out with something pretty cool just a few days ago. Guys, I'm going to introduce the all-new <laughs> stainless steel downpipe for the Mark V slash A90 Toyota Supra, aka our Supra, aka the little rocket, aka this bad boy's going on there. Rocket. The little red rocket. What did I say? The little rocket. The little red rocket. Yeah. So, guys, today we're installing a new downpipe on our Supra. But before we do that, I do want to go over this and give you guys a closer look and tell you a little bit more about it. So weird. So this is the all-new AMS Performance stainless steel racing downpipe for the Mark V Supra. Now, it significantly lowers back pressure and exhaust gas can more easily flow across the turbine wheel, which allows for the potential for more power. It also adds a super red throaty exhaust note under wide open throttle. Now it's CAD engineered for maximum exhaust flow. The 304 stainless steel four and a half inch design reduces down to a three and a half inch flex section, which further reduces to a 3.15 inch outlet, allowing you to run either a stock or an aftermarket cat back system. Now, as far as installation goes, this is also completely bolt-on, meaning no cutting, and the O2 sensors are in the OEM locations, which means no jumpers are needed. Now, the most important part is that this four and a half inch fully mandrel bent downpipe is the best performing and most durable on the market. Power comes in earlier and the turbo spool up is significantly improved. The long gradual transitions within the mandrel bent downpipe allows exhaust gases to maintain velocity without a buildup of back pressure inside of the system. It's this level of superior engineering and this type of attention to detail that convinced us to bring our Toyota Supra to AMS performance to begin with. Now, obviously first things first when it comes to installing the new downpipe is of course removing the factory one, which is super easy because you don't even have to remove any of the skid pads or any panels or anything like that. You actually first just need to loosen your factory O2 sensors, which are easier to get to with the vehicle on the ground through the hood and you need to loosen the V-band as well. So with the O2 sensors out of the way, you can get to the V-band clamp, but you're not gonna be able to really get to it from up top, you wanna get underneath. If you were to remove the air box and the resonator, you'd be able to sneak your arm down there and get to that V-band clamp, but we're just gonna go up in the air with it and we'll get to it from underneath. All right, now once you have the V-band loosened completely, you've got one bracket right here, one bracket right here, and this little guy right here as well. All of which, in case you're wondering, are a 13 millimeter socket. One little nougat. Two little nougats. Three little nougats. And four little nougats. That. All right, now the bracket down here is undone. We have all the brackets on the pipes all undone. We're just gonna kind of wiggle, shake. Maybe have to beat on stuff a little bit. <laughs> It'll come right out. Might have to give it a little tappy tap with a hammer sometimes. Still may have to wiggle a little bit. Just give it a little wiggly jiggly. <laughs> it's starting to slide out. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Is that there it goes. There it is. Ta-da! All right. So. Victory! We're going to show you something with this downpipe versus the downpipe that we're sticking on there. Now, this is the stock downpipe we had on our Toyota Supra, which typically has a catalytic converter right about here. Ours, however, we might have gutted it already because we were playing with power and tuning and seeing what the airflow would do if we did gut it. This right here does not have a catalytic converter at the moment. However, AMS Performance will be coming out with one that does have a cat in it 
for those of you that are interested. This is catless, which means that it is a race only downpipe for those of you that were interested. Now, there are a few things that I wanna go over between the differences of these two here. And one of the main things that I want you to take a look at real quick is the inside of this stock one right here. So you can see as the air flows into it, you can see this huge lip right about there that the air has to basically jump over to get out the other end. Now, if you take a look over here, you'll see that that does not exist on the AMS Performance downpipe. Now, what that basically means is there's a lot smoother airflow in the AMS Performance downpipe because this over here is creating a ton of turbulence. Turbulence creates back pressure and the back pressure can affect the power you're putting out with your turbocharged vehicle. So not only do we have a smooth fake aerodynamics, a smoother flow of air through here, you also have smoother flowing air through here. I know what you're thinking, Brittany, this little accordion piece here is probably gonna affect all that turbulence crap that you were talking about as well. Not really. Now, if you look at the stock one here, that's definitely the case. So if you look in here, you can actually see the inside of the ridges of that flex pipe section. But if you take a gander into the AMS Performance downpipe, it is completely smooth through there. You get all of that flex through the very end, right? I'm gonna touch it with the flashlight, there. So you still have that really smooth flow of air, which as we said, allows for more power because you get more airflow. So, and quicker spool. Quicker spool. So now these are just a couple things that set the AMS performance downpipe apart, not just from the factory downpipe, but a lot of their competition as well. All right, now before we install the new downpipe, you do gotta make sure that you hold on to your V-band clamp because that's gonna come on over. Then the very most important thing, do not damage this, is there is a gasket, there's a crush gasket right here that sits right inside this gap. You do need to remove this gasket and reuse it on the new downpipe. Do not damage it. Don't damage it. You don't want an exhaust leak. And you don't want to have to try to find this because I don't even know that that part's available separately. So don't damage it. I came <laughs> didn't damage it so what i used was my knife and a pick and just barely got one little side out just, just kind of yeah out. so i mean i you know there's a little bit of just slowly and then i was able to pull the rest out with my fingers so that went in like that came out like that and we're just going to go ahead and stick this one on like like so like so there you go boom all right, remember this little bracket we took off here? Well, AMS provides you with a new bracket. And what you actually have to do is you have to take this little rubber isolator and flip it 90 degrees. And then this guy. There you go. Oh, that was super simple. So you're gonna slide it in and line it up with this back hole. You're gonna throw the bolt through it that they provide along with a nut to capture it. And then what that does basically is it allows you to move and position the pipe where you need it because the new down pipe is a lot bigger round and we're kind of spacing it off uh, away from the transmission here a little bit. Now with that all said and done, basically the next step is installing the AMS Performance downpipe, which is literally just a reverse of the steps we took to uninstall the stock one. Yeah, just slip it and pop it and drop it. And lock Wait. it. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. Okay, so once you get everything pretty much in place and locked up, leave everything loose. You wanna start in the rear right here, and you wanna move this bracket and exhaust pipe all the way out as far as you can pretty much go, but to be able to get still get the nut on and snug it down. This will be the first thing you're gonna snug down. And what that does is that creates all the clearance over here. But from there, you're gonna go up and snug down the two brass nuts up there. Yep. And then you'll go to the V-band clamp. So start from the rear, work your way to the front, keeping all your gaps nice and neat. 
So this is gonna be the only issue that you'll have is this will be touching the transmission bell housing if you don't start in the rear. If you just bolt everything up, that's gonna come over and touch there. So start in the rear because that's where she wants to be. Wait. And then last but not least is reinstalling the O2 sensors, which removing the factory air box does make a little bit easier. So there's also a little clip holding on the O2 sensor harness that you can just pull off that little clip and it'll give you more harness to work with. Let's get everything back installed and then you can just clip it back on. One other little tidbit of information when you're installing O2 sensors, since they're on a fixed harness, is to pre-twist them the opposite way. So you wanna go counterclockwise with them a bunch, twist it all up, so that way when you go to screw it in, it'll actually not have any strain on the wire and it'll be in there properly. That's kind of just if you haven't done it before, just a kind of little tidbit of information. All right, we're all done, I'm gonna fire it up. Four button on, give her a little rev. the world's first A90 Supra downpipe install. <laughs> but no, for real guys. So from here, obviously the Supra is going to go on the dyno where it can get properly tested and tuned. Unfortunately, we won't be here for that because as we said, we're kind of in the middle of a journey here and we have to be somewhere, New AKA York. New, York, New York, because we have super awesome stuff planned for the stepchild. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Remember you can find all of your Life Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com, all of your Lightbright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. We love you, and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Mwah. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little... Tyler, what's that?